Welcome back guys. In this video lecture, we'll be talking about electroporation, which is also known as electropermeabilization, right? So electroporation or electropermeabilization is a process where we use electricity or small amount of voltage and applying to the cell surface, applying to the cell membrane so that pores start to form in cell membrane and we can deliver either genetic material or drug directly inside a cell in the cytosol of the cell. Now remember for any kind of processes to insert a genetic material or any other particle like drugs it directly inside the cell we need to evade the cell membrane because this is the ultimate layer that is protecting the whole cell. So they say this is the nucleus and all these things this is the cell membrane and the cytosol. By any means if we need to insert that drug or genetic material directly into the cytosol or in the nucleus wherever right if uh, we require to invade this cell membrane first right and even in going inside the nucleus we require further stages but mainly first thing we need to evade this cell membrane right so how could we insert such a particle say foreign particle like a drug particle inside this cell the easiest way is to create a pore in cell membrane and insert it directly into the cell and for doing that so we need to form a pore so how can we form the pore? For the formation of the pore, we apply voltage, electricity. We apply electricity. And the electricity we apply in this case is 100 volts or some kind of 100 to 200, 300, very milder volt. As you can see, 100 volt is not very much uh, high electricity, very low electricity across the region where we want to create the pore, right? So we apply that amount of voltage generally in some let's say 5 millimeter distance of a region. So let's say this is the section which is only 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter long section. Let's say this is a 5 millimeter long section and we apply this voltage, this milder voltage, let's say 100 volts here with the help of electrodes placing inside the cell membrane and then it creates the pore. Now how it creates the pore? That's the question. The idea here, it was discussed and uh, discovered early that when we apply the small amount of electricity in the very tiny region like few centimeters like three or four centimeters or five centimeter, what it does actually, it, it make all those phospholipids to realign, right? Because in the cell membrane, those phospholipids are aligned in a bilayer fashion, right? where the heads are aggregated at the same region, tails which are hydrophobic are aggregated on other side. So if you look at here, normally how they are organized, these are the head and these are the tail groups, remember. And this is the another set of, so this is the lipid bilayer, these are the two different layer. This is layer 1, layer 2, right? They are, are organized in this way. Hydrophobic tails interact with each other to form the membrane medial region. Now, the problem is when we apply this voltage, right? When we apply the voltage, that electricity provides them, I mean, they, rear, they help them to rearrange properly. And in this case, they are rearranged in an orientation. like this. Something like this. Similarly, if you look at here, those let us say this is the section or this is the section where we apply that voltage. Remember this voltage is applied and it, during those small stretch of section, all those phospholipids, those heads start to cover up the region and those, those tail regions are again interacting with the hydrophobic portion. So they just start to create a separation line here. But what it does actually, remember these heads are of hydrophilic nature, right? That means water or any other particle can pass through that. So you can see it now, previously the middle portion completely made up with hydrophobic. But in this case, 
due to this rearrangement as you can see all these sections are hydrophilic and it forms this pore so through this pore now particles can entry right that's how the whole process works this voltage makes this phospholipid molecules to rearrange in a way it creates that pore structure like this and then molecules can pass through it right i have drawn this picture in a cross section way if you look at the cross section in the 3d view you can view it in a better orientation so if you want to view it in 3d you can see in the uh, wikipedia uh, they have an image of this 3d construction of how this process actually uh, looks like but i can't draw it directly here in this case it's kind of complicated so that's the basic way of how electroporation work it's called electropermeabilization because it makes a cell membrane permeable to certain components due to the application of electric field right so that's why this process is called and this process is extremely important for delivering genetic material like dna sometimes other particles like drugs in most of the cases inside the cell directly and also some other type most of the cases in during the uh, transformation of cells as well as during the plant breeding processes and also plant tissue culture processes with using the ti plasmid recombination processes we need to deliver some genetic particle inside the cell and we use this, this approach to deliver it inside the cell why we use this approach because this approach requires less uh, expense as well as less laboring conditions because slight voltage across the membrane do the trick right so let's say we have a dna to enter so obviously we need to put the dna in the surrounding mixture let's say these are the dna fragments that we need to put it inside and then we need to apply this voltage and the dna will pass through that pore something happens like that so this is the way of dealing with it and that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button share this video with your friends in all social networking site as well as subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this subscribe button here down hit this Thank you.